In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple shiny text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro in just a few steps. So first, let's grab our type tool, and we can click in the program window and type out whatever text we want. In order to get this stroke effect, all I did was highlight all the text, go to the Essential Graphics panel. And here you can adjust things like the font size, center alignment, and of course, the fill color and the stroke color. So, I just happened to do this, for example. Then I'm going to take this new text graphic layer that we've created, move it into place wherever I need it to be. And I'm just going to quickly duplicate it by clicking Option, clicking, and dragging. That's just a quick way to copy and paste. So now I have the duplicated layer on top, and I want to make this duplicated layer a little bit brighter. So one thing you can do is just simply set it to a blending mode, like Color Dodge or Linear Dodge, that makes it add on to underneath. If for some reason your colors are different, or maybe I guess this wouldn't work with solid white, grab your Lumetri color panel or open your limited color panel and adjust in the basic correction section. Things like exposure contrast, you can even go into the curves and adjust the RGB curves if you want to make it even more bright. That's why I'm using a color. So once I have made it brighter, all I want to do is go to the opacity section and click on the four-point polygon mask. In this case, if you don't see the mask, just make sure you're in the program window again. And here I can adjust the corners of this four-point polygon mask. So I'm just going to make it a thin rectangular stripe, doesn't have to be perfect. The nice part is there is some mask feathering, and you can actually increase or decrease that. But that gives it a little bit of glow. Now I'm going to go to the very first frame, or wherever I want the animation to begin and click on the stopwatch icon under Mask Path the toggle animation, and that will create this little diamond keyframe here. And I want to set keyframe 1 start position all the way to the left before the text begins. And I want to move over, let's just say, to the end of my clip, or to the end of whenever I want the animation to stop. And I'll click on the thing, highlight it, make sure I'm in mask path if anything crazy happens like that. And program window of course, and just set the position to all the way to the other side. So we're going to get this gradual stripe, and you can move the keyframes, you can squeeze them in together or further apart. But when I press play, you should get this cool, shiny text animation. And there's no reason you can't add more keyframes or just keep repeating this, especially if you want it to maybe make it go back and forth once maybe I can show you. I'll copy paste this keyframe, and this will be a right to left example. So it goes all the way to the right, then all the way back. But you can play around with this basic idea. Quickly, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.